one, so we got the chance to partner with the Niagara Training and Employment Centre, which is also in connections with Niagara Support Services. So this agency is dedicated to the well-being of those with disabilities, and they focus on providing employment and integration opportunities for those 18 plus, whilst providing individuals with a variety of activities and programs that promote personal and social development. Okay, so now this is kind of a program overview of 2020 and 2021 sessions. So in 2020, we did a four week music program and each week focusing on a different instrument or subject. So week one was introduction to percussion, week two was introduction to string instruments, week three was introduction to wind instruments, and week four was introduction to the voice and a sing-along. In 2021, we did a four week ukulele program and each week was a different chord and different focus. So week one was the C chord, week two was a minor chord, week three was a planned F chord, and week four was a spring sing-along. The purpose of our program was to be able to provide equitable and inclusive music lessons to those who chose to partake. We wanted to provide a safe learning environment where individuals can practice and learn lifelong musical skills while it impacts their individual well-being and personal development. So whether that be their confidence, stress relief, motor skills, and creativity. And of course, we also wanted to have a social impact through participant collaboration. So these next couple of slides are gonna be the obstacles and benefits we encountered in our 2021 ukulele program specifically. So some obstacles with our participants involved placing chord stickers, ukulele finger numbering, chord transitioning, and curriculum restructuring. However, some unanticipated obstacles um, we encountered were the loss of participants, having one facilitator in week two for half of the session, um, disheartening feedback from a support we received, and remodeling week three F chord lesson altogether. So some of the benefits that occurred for not only us, but our participants occurred musically, personally, and socially. So musically, our participants were able to learn two chords, sing and play simultaneously, learn various rhythms and rhythm patterns, learn about how to transition different chords, and composing spring sing-alongs as well. Some of the personal benefits that occurred included the joys in learning music, a confidence increase we saw, the cognitive development that occurred, the fun and smiles that we got to have every session, and of course the self-discipline that was developed. And finally, some of the social benefits were the teamwork and dedication of learning and playing together, while also being able to pay attention to the thoughts and opinions of those within the virtual platform. Focusing on our theory of change, we utilize the values of equity and inclusion to attempt to empower these individuals for whom the system is not always conforming to. On a macro level, this occurred socially by focusing on collaborative community change, by connecting with others through virtual music learning, and on a micro level, this occurred individually to promote individual music engagement, retainment, and enjoyment, while also building self-confidence in each individual. Okay, so this program consisted of two facilitators, which was myself and Bella, four sessions times two. So one happened in November, December in 2020, and one happened in February, March of 2021. Um, each session had six to 11 participants per session, and that included employees from the NTEC and our supervisor. Evaluation, how did we evaluate our participants? Well, this was through observation, self-reporting, note-taking, reflections after sessions, some survey questions, a tell-all to show us or say one thing they loved, and also regular check-ins that occurred pretty much after each slide throughout our sessions. So some of the key teachings we had through developing this program was flexibility and adaption through not knowing the participants, modifying every session to cater the needs and abilities of our participants, and the virtual learning aspect. Another key teaching was the communication with each other, with our supervisors, our participants, and during each session as well. And finally, the motivation to keep going, which is even when losing participants, we still had to keep motivated to keep going, even when participants weren't grasping certain concepts. And we also wanted to keep our motivation up to ensure that our purpose was being met in the end. 
We'd like to say thank you to listening to our presentation. Um, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.